Welcome back, Adventures with Dr. Joe. This is a video on how to replace the plunger in a grease gun. The plunger is the rubber device that goes on the inside of the grease cylinder, pushing the grease forward so it can engage the head and be pumped out. They fail, and what you'll notice is in the back of the can, there's a lot of grease, there's a lot of oil coming out of the back, and that part can be replaced, although they're a little bit difficult to find. This is how to replace it. The first thing we want to do is pull, is pull the plunger out just a little bit and lock it in place. And then unscrew the cylinder. Now I've cleaned this out. Normally this will be grease laden and you might need to clean it out. Here's the head nice and clean. And then here's the cylinder. I'm going to release this so that the, this can go all the way to the top. And we're going to take this out and replace that plunger. So these are held in place with either a nut or a cotter pin. This one's got a cotter pin. I've strained it out. We'll push down on that washer, take the cotter pin out, take the washer out, take the plunger out, and then this is also known as the follower. We're going to just take that out and save it. And then of course inside here is the spring, and then we've got the plunger here. So you can see this plunger is deformed. It's tilted, it's tipped. It was riding like this in the cylinder and grease was coming out all around it. It's just failed. So fortunately, I was able to find another one on e-replacement parts. I will give two links to this. This is how it comes in a package. And you can see it's very similar. Feels a little stiffer, a little stronger, a little better. So I'm happy with that. And the diameter of the opening is good for that cylinder, that rod we've got here. So we'll put it all back together with the new plunger. So if it's totally come apart, we need to put the plunger back in and the lock. Just goes in through the hole like that. The spring. The spring goes in the follower first then the new plunger and that's a really nice it's an excellent tight fit excellent the washer and a new cotter pin. So that's how it's going to go. Now I'm going to bend the cotter pin and it'll hold it in place. So you can see now I bent the cotter pin. That the plunger is going to stay in place when we charge it. We release it. It's great. And then the next step is obviously going to be put a new cylinder of grease in here. But that's how you change the plunger. Refill it with grease after you fully extended this. The new grease cylinder will literally just drop in here, flip open the can, and put it back together. But when you put it back together, don't have this fully, fully tight. When you release the lever, you need a little gap so the air that's trapped underneath the top of the, of the, of the grease cylinder will escape and not give us an airlock here because this is where the grease needs to go so our plunger can drive that grease into the grease gun out, out into the grease fitting. Thank you for watching again Adventures with Dr. Joe. We just replaced the plunger in our grease gun and here's our new one in place. This should probably last us many many years. Consider subscribing if this was helpful. Thumbs up. Click like. Thank you.